Memorial Park, where we have our reporter Mark Namaswa uh, stationed. And today it marks 20 years since 7th of August, uh, 20 years ago, when that bomb blast took place. And we do know that the U.S. Embassy is holding a commemoration there now. Mark Namaswa, thank you for joining us this morning. Do we know what the program is like for today? Yeah, Mike, uh, this uh, park is known as the August Memorial Park, set up in commemoration of the events that happened here 20 years back, where we lost about 212 uh, people in the bomb blast that uh, was attributed to a terror attack. Now, uh, we are informed that uh, according to the program right now, between 8.30 to 9, it will be a private affair where we have uh, survivors and family members gathering and uh, just keeping to themselves, it is uh, something that is private. So what we have, we, they'll be laying wreaths in the memory of uh, the people who perished here. And we have a congregation, people coming from all over the world, the international community, they are here. Uh, of course, uh, the event is spearheaded by the American Embassy right here in Kenya. And these grounds that we stand on were formerly the U.S. Embassy up until 1998 after uh, the bomb attack. That's when it was moved elsewhere. But right now, uh, this is uh, the Memorial Park. Now, uh, the uh, program reads as follows. Between 8.30 and 9, it will be a private affair between uh, uh, survivors and family members laying wreaths in memory of the people who perished. Then, starting from 10, it will be the official opening of the ceremony. Uh, we will have uh, John C.B. Okumu, one of uh, uh, the foremost uh, media personalities in the country, who will be the MC overseeing uh, the event, starting off at exactly 10. Then uh, we will have uh, opening remarks, uh, starting from around uh, 10.02. Then uh, we will have at, we will have at around uh, eight minutes past ten we will have uh, the kenyan and u.s and national anthems being sung around here to my right is the spot that we will be having the choir then uh, we'll, we also have uh, the u.s ambassador i've seen him walk in at around quarter past eight robert godek is here then uh, going towards uh, 12 30 that is when the event will be expected to come to a close back to you michael Right, and uh, maybe just before to let you go, there's always been the question of compensation uh, 20 years on. There are Kenyans who feel that not enough has been done. Is that something that is likely to be talked about, addressed, or has that been completely shelved? We cannot say that that has been completely shelved. Last time I checked, there were about 173 uh, people that had received some form of aid from the international the US Department of International Development but uh, looking at the numbers we had 212 uh, dead so this is something that will keep cropping up 20 years on we have had uh, people go to to court concerning the same we'll have that matter uh, coming up and it's uh, looking at past events where we've had uh, such incidences we know that uh, the issue of compensation will come up but again we'll have to follow up and see how far this has come 20 years on michael Thank you very much. Mark Namaso, who is at uh, the 7th of August Memorial Park, where there's going to be a commemoration championed by the U.S. Embassy. And this is 20 years after 212 Kenyans died as a result of a bomb blast that was claimed by Al-Qaeda. And many 